Hey everyone, welcome to our gentle yoga practice today. We're going to mostly focus on breathing into our poses, doing some stretching, and just becoming more mindful in our practice. We're actually gonna start on our back, so you can lie on back. And just letting your feet fall open, palms fall out beside you, drawing the shoulders down and away from the ears. Gently close the eyes and start to breathe into your belly. Letting that belly rise up on the inhale and release back towards the spine on the exhale. Releasing any tension, stress, any anxiety that you're holding on to physically, mentally, or emotionally. Just allowing your body to be present on the mat. On your next inhale, gently hugging the knees into the chest. And start by just circling around, massaging that lower back, relaxing the shoulders. Feel free to keep the eyes closed and just feeling the pose. So you massage the back on the mat. And then switching other directions, circling the knees the opposite way. Moving with that breath. And as you come back to center, just extending the legs up to the sky, pointing and flexing the feet here. Begin to circle the ankles one direction. And the other direction. Hugging the knees back down to the chest. We're gonna extend our left leg long out onto the mat. Just hugging the right knee in, relax the shoulders. Whenever you're ready, release that right knee across the body, over to the left, and take that right arm out to the right, drawing it down away from the shoulder. Feel free to take that gaze opposite of that top knee. Breathing into this nice spinal twist here on the mat. One more inhale, gently come back to center. From here, we're gonna place that right ankle on the left thigh. We can either stay here if this is enough, maybe bring the hands beside us, or we can take this deeper, wrapping that arms behind the left leg or even around that left knee. Relax the shoulders, stretching the glutes in the IT band. Again, coming back to that breath. One more inhale. And as you exhale, keep the hands around the left knee, extend the right leg long. Going into the other side, gently take that left knee across the body, over to the right, and looking to the left. Again, feel free to close the eyes, relaxing that left shoulder. Feeling that nice twist through the lumbar, the low back spine. One more inhale. And as you exhale, inhaling back to center, place that left ankle around on that right thigh, wrap the arms around, maybe back of the right leg or even around the right knee. Breathe into the stretch. Releasing any tension in the glutes or the hips. One more inhale. And as you exhale, release, hug both knees back into the chest. Roll onto one side, right or left. Hugging the knees in, stacking the hips and the shoulders, bringing that bottom arm under your head as a pillow. Just breathing back into the earth, finding your breath. And on your next exhale, pressing up, coming to a seated position on the mat. Sitting nice and tall, grounding into our sit bones, placing the hands on the knees. Let's just draw the shoulders back, close the eyes and breathe. Again, feeling the breath as it moves through the body, the belly rises on the inhale. 
and releases on the exhale. Feeling connected to the earth, grounded and relaxed. On your next inhale, drawing the arms up to the sky. As you exhale, take it across the body over to the right. Inhale, coming back up to center, and exhale, reaching to the left. Inhale, coming up, exhale. One more, and release. Sitting nice and tall, bring the hands behind the shoulders, drawing the shoulders back, lift the heart center. As you exhale, place the hands on the knees, round the shoulders up, lift the upper back and tuck the chin. Inhale, coming back to center. Let's come around into a tabletop position. So just coming onto our knees. And from here, bringing the toes to touch, take the knees wide. Do your best to sit the glutes onto the heels. If you need to place a blanket in between the legs to do so, that's fine. From here, either reaching the arms out in front, bring the forehead down or under a block or pillow. We can always stack the hands under the forehead here as well. Breathe back into the mat. Feeling the energy from the earth, reconnecting to our natural source of energy. Feeling that energy flow throughout the body. Inhale as you rise up, coming onto the knees. Just placing the hands on the quads. We can bring that index finger and thumb into Kiyam Mudra if we like. Draw the shoulders back, open the heart center and close the eyes. Feeling the body sitting upright, stacking the tailbone and the crown of the head, aligning all the chakras, feeling balanced and calm. From here, as we release, swing the legs around, taking them out in front. Sitting nice and tall, shaking out those legs, Taking the sit bones off the mat. Let's inhale, drawing the arms up, opening to the sky. As we exhale, draw the hands down through the heart center, come into that nice fold. Maybe we simply place the hands on the shins, beside us, ankles, and only reaching for those toes if we need to. Not stressing or pushing our limit of flexibility but listening to our body here. If we need to take a few shoulder rolls up and back to lengthen the spine, inhale up, exhale back, one more. And then settling in, drawing the spine long, shoulders away from the ears, close the eyes and breathe. Every exhale, moving a little bit deeper into the pose, feeling that stretch in the backs of the legs, Maybe releasing the back of the neck as the head comes down. One more inhale, slowly drawing up and hugging that left knee into the chest. Feel free to stay here, sitting nice and tall, stacking the tailbone in the crown or stepping that foot across. Flexing that straight leg, inhale, lengthen the spine, hugging that arm around the knee, ground the back hand, drawing the shoulder back, lifting through the upper back, find a focal point. So we move into our seated spinal twist. If we want to take this deeper, we can also hook that elbow, creating a mudra, making sure the shoulders are drawn back and away.
Inhale as we come back to center, bringing that foot that was bent into our half fold. If we have tight hips or hamstrings, we can slide that foot down a little bit or maybe place a bolster or pillow under the knee. Same idea here as our forward fold, drawing the arms up. We might be able to go a little bit further on this one as we exhale into that half fold. Again, bringing the hands either on the shins or beside us, draw those shoulders up and back. One more time. Shoulders down away, lengthen the spine and settle in. Relaxing those shoulders, breathe into the mat. Inhale, slowly rising back up. Bring the bottoms of the feet together for bound angle pose. Maybe taking the hands to open the soles of the feet to the sky. If we have tight hamstrings, hips or inner thighs, we can slide the feet out a little bit releasing some of that tension, maybe using the elbows to press the knees down, stretching the outsides of the legs. We can massage the neck here, staying up, maybe taking it side to side, back and forth. We could also kind of sway side to side as we come down, releasing the lower back. Or maybe you want to take this further, reaching the arms out in front, going deeper. Just choosing your variation for bound angle pose and come back to your breath. Inhale, slowly drawing up. And as we extend the other leg out, hug that knee into the chest, moving into our seated spinal twist on the other side. Feel free to keep it inside or stepping it across. Sitting tall, lengthen the spine, hug that knee, ground the back hand, Rotate, lift the chest. Other option is to hook the elbow. Breathe into that twist, relaxing the shoulders. One more inhale. And as we exhale, slowly coming back around taking that leg into that half fold. Inhale, sitting tall, draw the arms up. As we exhale, take them down into that half fold. Bring the hands to the shin or fingertips to the mat. Roll those shoulders down and back. One more time. And then slowly settle in. Inhale, slowly drawing up. Extending both legs out again, roll it all the way onto your back. Coming back to where we started, this time keeping the knees up to the sky, taking them, walking them to the outskirts of the mat. Arms can just fall open, palms up. Keep that left knee up, we're gonna drop the right knee in towards the center. Releasing the hip. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, do the same thing to the other side. Inhale as we draw it up. Bring the, bring the bottoms of the feet together, moving into our reclined bound angle. Allow both hips to fall open. Draw the shoulders down and away. Palms up. Feel free to close the eyes. Just breathing here. Release and let go allowing the body to open up whatever the universe has to offer you today. Slowly bringing those knees back together. Extend the legs out long, moving into a nice short Shavasana pose. Again, relax the feet, the legs, allow the feet to fall open, palms are up. 
close the eyes and begin to listen to your breath. Coming back to our nice neutral breath, in and out, not forcing, just observing. Staying in the present moment. Surrendering to the mat and letting go of what no longer serves us. Inhale as you wiggle the fingers and the toes. Slowly deepening the breath. Take a few inhales through the nose and exhale out the mouth. On your next inhale, rolling back onto your side, right or left. Stacking those hips, hugging the knees into the chest, stacking the shoulders, bringing that bottom arm under your head as a pillow. Gently close the eyes. And on your next breath, pressing up, coming back to a seated position. Closing our practice together, sitting nice and tall. Let's draw the arms up to the sky. Inhaling and exhaling, let it go. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, release. One more last big breath in. And exhale, drawing the hands down to the heart center, closing the eyes. Thanking our mind, thanking our body for taking this time for ourselves to relax, restore, and unwind. Showing up on our mat, being present. The light in me honors light in all of you. Namaste.